Is there ever a such thing as a normal life? I used to think so, until I met her. It was a chilly autumn day. The leaves freckled the ground in clumps and patches. I was standing alone outside the lunchroom, like I was every day at school. I'll admit I wasn't the coolest guy on the block. People weren't fond of my liking of polo shirts and Skecher light-up shoes. But today was different. I remember so clearly seeing her with her waist-long jet-black hair and her snake eyes that gazed straight through me. I had a cold shot go from my head down to my toes. She was staring at me. I had never seen her around campus before, and, and the sight of her made me feel very uncomfortable. She lumbered over to me. She was skinny and tall, and sort of reminded me of Slender Woman, but with the full head of hair. Her voice was cold, like nails on a chalkboard, when she asked me one simple question. Do you like me? Oh, if only I had said yes. I wouldn't be here telling you this story. I could be living a normal life. But instead, I jumped up, scared shitless, and walked as quickly as possible away from her without looking back. I could feel her eyes, and I had a horrible feeling in the pit of my stomach. Who was she? What was she? I sat in fifth period playing with a button on my polo as I tried to figure out what the hell just happened. I prayed to God I didn't have any classes with her. Thankfully, I didn't, and I was able to leave school that day with the incident out of my mind. But that night, I had trouble sleeping. And I kept seeing her and hearing those cold, soulless words she said. I kept waking with episodes of sleep paralysis and a strange feeling of me being watched, but I pushed through it. Finally, I woke up for school, tired but somewhat renewed. Nothing could have prepared me for what I saw next. Etched on the window in my room, read the question, Do you like me? My heart skipped two beats as I jumped back and slipped on the blanket half lying on the bed. After recovering from a painful bruise my head got when it hit the bed frame, I got up and went to the window. It looked like someone carved the words with a knife or a key. No way in hell was I going to school that day! I didn't care how many doctor appointments and how much time away from my phone I would have to endure. There was no way I was going to see her again. H how did she know where I lived? Who was she? What the hell was going on? I was lying in the living room watching some stupid sitcom with a damp rag over my forehead when I heard a knock on the door. My mom had gone out to the store to buy me some ibuprofen, so I figured she locked herself out of the house. It was pouring buckets outside. A late night cold front had brought some showers while I was trying to sleep. I opened the door giving my best sick impression for my mom when I jumped back three feet. There, standing at the door, with her soaked black hair and snake eyes, stood the girl. I was speechless. My mouth was moving, but no noise was coming out. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, I got myself together enough to ask, What in the hell are you doing here? She smiled and said simply, You never answered my question. Do you like me? I stuttered to find the words. Hell no! Why, why do you keep stalking me for? She frowned, and her whole face contorted. Her snake eyes began to glow a dark red, and her nose shriveled up into something that resembled Lord Voldemort. She growled at me with a voice that still haunts me to this day. You reject me only because I am strange. You humans have no sympathy. You all deserve death! The door slammed shut on its own, leaving only me sitting on the floor in utter shock and speechlessness. I eventually got my crap together and went to the door. I looked outside. There was only puddles of water everywhere and an old lady across the street struggling to hold an umbrella upright. The nightmare ever ended, though. In my dreams, I always see her, staring over my lifeless body, asking that same question over and over again. Do you like me? Do you like me? Do you like me? I don't know how much more I can take. I've done countless hours of research trying to find out who or what she is. To no avail. I think I'm going insane. Everyone at school claims to have never seen her, and my parents blame it on some chemical they've been putting in the water. Everyone thinks I've lost it. Please. Please. If there's anyone out there who can help me figure out what this, this monster is, help me. I don't know how much more I can take.